from Source TV. We're on the road in Nottingham with uh, Lions head coach Matt Bradbury. Uh, Matt, you've uh, you've caught the stars on a on a very good day today. Um, so it's been a while since Billingham did that to the, to the Lions. Yeah, they were fast out to the traps, weren't they today? And um, you know, we we struggled the first five minutes. They were on top of us all over, us, and we just couldn't get really much uh, you know routine and, 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 and consistency in our in our performance in the first five ten minutes, which was it's unusual really because we've had a quite a good start to the season with the way we've been playing, obviously, and then. You know, conceding some of the goals the way we did was uh, we were a bit disappointed. But I think once we got, I was just talking to Fozzy, once we got to the uh, the stage where the, the point of the game was out of reach, which was quite early, I think five, six goals in, um, decided just to flip it on his head and uh, get all the young guys in there um, that have been working and give them some good chance to, to get some game play and, and hopefully get some confidence. And that's what Lions have always been about, is giving the players the opportunity at this level um, and it's something that's proved successful for you in, in the years gone by. So getting those guys, whether it was half an hour of, of meaningful NIHL Division One hockey, can only do them well for the future. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's that's the key. You know, we, we've got a, a line with you know Luke Birchnall, Parson Mervan, and uh, Nick Martin, and we've got another line with uh, Ben Horner, uh, Michael Berelski, and Harvey Smith. So it's valuable ice time because again tomorrow when we when we play Widnes at home, we've got um, our eight teams on the road. So we've brought some guys in today that will then get to play winners at home tomorrow. So we've had to be quite strategical with how, we, how we're moving the kids around and the players around yeah. and obviously putting them in the right place, but no better an opportunity to play against a strong, experienced Billing Stars team. And, um, you know, if, if, if that helps them take away some fear uh, and helps them with their confidence going throughout the season, why not do it in game four or five of the season? Yeah. You talk about the, the results so far. The one thing that's noticeable, the, the games have been competitive top to bottom in the, in the NHL this, this season, and that's going to be good for the, the competition as a whole. Yeah, absolutely. There's a, you look around the league, lots of the games are really tight. I mean, obviously today was a, a bit of an anomaly, hopefully, and we'll move on tomorrow. Um, but that's great to see, isn't it? Hopefully no one's going to just, just run away. <laughs> um, hopefully no one's going to uh, run away with the league and, and it's going to be you know, a lot tighter at the top and it, it makes makes good hockey and good watching for the fans and and it's also great to, to, to have our young guys compete. That's the biggest thing is putting them into situations that pushes them out of their comfort zone. You know, when they play in their 16s and 18s, a lot of these young players back at their home club, not just Nottingham but other teams, they don't have to spend a great deal of time defending. So actually for our young players now to actually learn a bit of defensive duties and responsibilities against teams like, you know, Billingham, Whitley Bay, all, the, all the, these other top teams uh, really bodes well for the future. And just a, a final point about where we're playing, obviously we're standing in the, in the main arena. You've got a handful of games in, in here this year. What kind of difference has that made to... Because people, people will not appreciate the ice is actually the same size. It, it doesn't look it, but the ice is the same size as the, as the second pad that you use. But actually, having the fans in, is it, is it proving a, a worthwhile experiment? The ex I mean, it's not really an experiment we, we wanted to choose, but we've had to choose it because obviously the situation with NIHL 1 and NIHL 2, our, our teams, the Nottingham Lions teams, it's a case of our, our fixtures are, are more than we can actually get into the Olympic rink on the other pad. So we've had to be a bit more creative. And uh, we've got five games in here this year, but it also allows us, for the teams that are travelling a little bit further, just get, allows us to get like a, a lunchtime face-off um, so obviously you've got the earlier start uh, yeah. when you're travelling, but ultimately you've not got the late night. Um, and then we've got two of the NIHL two games, so seven games will be taking place in here to allow us to meet the schedule. Because obviously, you know, while we lost Solway, we gained Hull, and I think then Hull then have a team in the second division, as well as then Billingham are also put a team in the second division. Yeah. So it's kept our fixtures have increased. So we've had to do that. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to fulfil the fixtures. So it's not something we really wanted to do. Um, it's, it's going okay. Um, still prefer to play next door. It's because we train where we train. It's where we play most of our games. So it knocks us a little bit. And like you say, the, the, the ice pads are the same size, but it's like that kind of um, areas on the ice that you normally the routine you get into. Yeah. And I suppose the arena sort of like knocks us out that routine a bit for the players' wise. Yeah. Well, we've appreciated the certainly not so much the early start, but certainly the early finish. Yeah. Um, and appreciate our time as always. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Thank Good you. luck with the rest of the week, and we'll uh, we'll catch up with you soon. Thanks, Greg.